how long does the plastic item and bottles take on biodegradation? Normally, it takes 1,000 years on plastic items and bottles takes 450 years. Oh my god, that's more than 5 to 10 generations. But now, ladies and gentlemen, there's a new material, the metric yarn. The metric yarn only takes 7 to 10 years on biodegradation. And the next company we're going to introduce you is the Yixing Textile Industrial Company. They're focused on making the functional elastic yarn. Today, they're going to bring you their newest product, the Magic Yarn. Ladies and gentlemen, showtime! Hello everyone, my name is Zoe. It's good to see you here. And um, I think the pandemic did change the way we communicate. And I can't get to see you face to face. And uh, but I'm not really used to talk to a camera, but anyway, I'll try. So I'll give you a short introduction of our company and then we will go to uh, our latest product, BES, our biodegradable enhancement solution. Okay. Our company was established in 2013 and we were going public in last year in 2019. And our main product is functional elastic yarn. We do both DTY and ACY. And our headquarters is in Taipei, and our manufacturing site is in Zhonghua, the central Taiwan. And here is a glance of our manufacturing site. The production capacity is 2,200 tons a month, and the number of employees is 200. Okay, this is the focus today, our BES biodegradable enhancement solution. It is a solution which can be treated as general polyester yarn and it can also be circled back to the general recycle loop because the very first step of recycle is to recycle the virgin material. And as for the biodegradability, it is verified by ASTM D5511 for the landfill and ASTM D6691 for the ocean. And the methane generated after degradation can be turned to energy. And in this page, you'll see the biodegradation process. Uh, we turn regular of hydrophobic polyesters into hydrophilic one. And those hydrophilic polyesters will go into the landfill because our theory is um, the final destination for those textile products will be uh, in the landfill because uh, the real recycle for those textile products is to go into the secondhand store. And so in the landfill, it is an anaerobic environment. So they will start conducting anaerobic digestion. And the very first step of anaerobic digestion is hydrolysis. Hydrolysis is to break down the molecular chains of the polymers and to turn polymers from big to small. And they will become easier for those microorganisms to consume them as food. And those different lots of microorganisms will complete the uh, the whole process of anaerobic digestion. And after degradation, the production will be water, carbon dioxide, biomass, and the key, uh, methane. And methane is a reliable fuel source, and it can also be collected and turned to electricity and to uh, activate everything which can be powered by electricity. And this is the uh, test results of uh, ASTM D5511 for the landfill and the very, uh, the, the very first test result is uh, the biodegradability is 17.2% after 147 days. And this is the second test result and the biodegradability is 27.6% after 219 days. And this is the latest test result. It's uh, the biodegradability is uh, 34 percent after 237 days. And this is the task for the ocean and the first test result uh, it shows the biodegradability is 8.9 percent after 125 days. And the latest test result for the ocean is 19.6 percent after 234 days. Okay, here is the most critical question, microparticles. This is a stage which every way of biodegradation will go through. But the most important thing is how long will it last? Um, according to research, it takes around 450 years for a plastic bottle to biodegrade naturally. With our solution, the estimated time period of degradation will be around 7 to 10 years. So here you can see the huge difference between uh, 450 years and 7 to 10 years, and you can see how different they, their influence to the environment. 
And the reason why we do the test for the ocean is uh, because uh, every day when you wash your clothes, uh, those microparticles will go into the ocean through the sewage system. And we have to make sure that those microparticles will also be biodegraded properly. So that's the reason why we do the test for the ocean. And here you can see a link of our video. And I don't think we have that enough time to uh, see the video now. So, um, but anyway, I'll email you the PPT file and you can enjoy the video yourself. And in this page, you'll see the collection of methane. And uh, it is an idea of uh, recycle the methane and reuse it. And here as a map shows the locations of the currently operational landfill gas energy projects in the States. It's just for your reference. And uh, while we offer eco-friendly products to our customers, and we would like to do more for the environmental protection. So we set up an eco-friendly production process, and which we call it LIMIT. LIMIT is L-E-M-T-T, and the first L is labor. It is to go hire automation and to, re uh, to save the labor force. And E is for energy, is to reduce the uh, consum electricity consumption and uh, to lessen the carbon emission. And the M is for material, is to use less cartons and to reduce the use of paper and to avoid trees being hacked. And the first T is for transportation, is to reduce the times of transportation and to lessen the oil consumption. And the last T is for time, is to adjust uh, working hours properly and to give a better work-life balance. And in this page, you'll see our certification. And we are an ISO and GRS certified company. Here is our customers. In garments and shoes, we have Nike, Adidas, Mizuno. And in garments, for garments, we have Under Armour, Lululemon, Columbia, Uniqlo, Gap, Decathlon, and Target. And for the automotive industry, we have GM, Volkswagen, Toyota, and Honda. Here is my contact details. And uh, you can see my email here, and you can see my contact number here. Uh, so uh, email me, call me, uh, do whatever, reach me to get the PPD file. Then uh, we can get to have more time to talk about things that I don't have enough time to talk about today. So thank you very much for your time, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you. Hello, Zoe. Hi, Evan. Thank you for your great presentation. Thank you. And we see a lot of things in front of me. Could you right. introduce us? OK, yes. Um, apparently, this is biodegradable yarn. Mm -hmm. Yes. And those are the fabrics that are made by our biodegradable yarn. And here is the woven fabric. Oh, this is simple, beautiful blue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it feels like the normal polyester yarn. Yeah. Yes, that's right. But you can try the fabric and you can see the elastic property okay. that we have. Yeah, because okay. that's your specialty. That's right. Oh, wow. The performance is really good. See? Wow. I like to wear this kind of clothes when doing sports. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Thank you. And the most important thing is uh, biodegradable fabric, right? Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think a lot of people have the same question as I am. As a, what is the difference between the recycled material and the biodegradation material? All right. Um, as for the recycled products, and the material of recycled yarn is from things like uh, used plastic, mm -hmm. plastic bottles. Yes. yes. And we chop those plastic bottles into flakes mm -hmm. here. And we do the depolymerization and repolymerization, and we get the chips. And uh, we do the spinning, and we get the yarn. So that's the, how the recycled yarn is coming from. Mm -hmm. And for, as for the biodegradable yarn, um, it is, uh, we, do, we have our secret recipe mm -hmm. added in those plastic chips. Mm -hmm. and, so, uh, and we do the spinning, and we get the biodegradable yarn.
Okay, so the secret is in the recipe, right? Yeah, in the, <laughs> the secret recipe is in the chips. And yes. I heard you have a new step, right, to combine the two things together. That's right, that's right. Because uh, we are going to have a combination of mm -hmm. these two. So we are going to have a recycled version of BES, our biodegradable solution, biodegradable enhancement solution in recycled form. Wow, that can solve a lot of environmental problems. That's right. I'm so looking forward to it. Thank you. And the next question is, we all know now the BES is a very special material and very useful for material. That's but right. But what kind of products and fabric can you exactly do in? Yeah, as I mentioned in the mm -hmm. BPD, um, it can be treated as general regular polyester yarn. Mm -hmm. So um, everything that uh, general regular polyester yarn can do, we mm -hmm. can do it as well. Wow, so basically, Anything, everything you use in a daily life that needs yarn, you can make it. That's right. Wow. So ladies and gentlemen, today we mm. made the first meet with the BES and the BES yarn fabric can make our life different. And this is all from Yixin. Yeah.